I'm here with Janetta Gonzalez, who has a very expressive way of painting, particularly florals. So Janetta, what does the term expressive mean to you? Expressive to me is about bold color and it doesn't even have to be realistic color found in nature. Um, it's very gestural, very textural, lots of textural brush strokes and mark making. Um, and it can be abstract and energetic. Um, and it's also not about rendering or creating something exactly realistically, I should mm -hmm. say. Um, an expressionistic piece can be evocative or it can elicit like some kind of emotion. I really see that in your work. The texture, the quick brush works and the, and the gestural, gestural texture, that's what you said. It was it's kind of cool. But um, when you're creating this kind of work, what do you focus on? Because so many of us struggle with wanting to represent the thing. So where do you shift your focus to your mind on when you are creating in this way? I like to start with a concept and then I build on that. So for example, it could be, I could be depicting a scene or exploring a theme or even conveying like my point of view on something that I want to draw. Um, and then from there, I like to start with a focal point. So if I'm making the composition, for instance, I'd like to think about like, where's your eye going to move? So maybe there's one big statement or something happening um, that you focus on in the piece, or sometimes I do it the other way around. If I have to do a lot of things in one piece, then I'll try to find these quieter moments or these surprise moments that will make you stop and look. And, you know, and they, oh, look at that, you know, so I, it's really about like where your eye moves, from, especially with this expressionistic artwork, because it's going to be a lot, a lot of texture, a lot of energy, a lot of things happening. So this is kind of about finding that balance. I think super helpful because what you're saying is you focus on composition and kind of a visual rhythm mm -hmm. more so than the thing you're creating. You are looking at the whole and considering how the eye is going to flow and move. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So what's one thing that has helped you create more expressive work? Color, always. <laughs> For me, it's always, I mean, I'm always wearing, either wearing color or around, surrounded by color in my life. So it's just a big part of me and who I am and what I do. So uh, I would say, um, it definitely is how I express myself. I express myself through the clothes I wear, the colors I put in. It's my hair color has changed. <laughs> Lots of color <laughs> in my life has changed. So, um, so for sure, uh, I color my work and I, I try to find harmony within the colors. Um, especially if it's a, like, is that a lot going on in the piece? There's a lot of, uh, texture or gestural this and that. Um, so the colors do have to flow and balance out. Um, and they also need to be bright and bold for me to be really happy with it. So I spend time tinkering uh, digitally and making sure the colors pop. So your colors are the expressive piece, right? Or would you say it's also like how you go about painting? It's how I go about it. Yeah. Color is a definitely, um, you know, I'm looking at the colors I'm going to start with. I'm sure you do that too, because your stuff is so bright. So, you know, what, what are good color choices for this? And then I just move through the color that way. Awesome. I feel inspired to create some expressive work. So thank you, Janetta. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Your work is extremely expressive. So <laughs> I think that's what I think. I think of you and I think it's expressive for sure. We should collaborate <laughs> on a piece together and it would be like so loud. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> okay. Pink. Pink. Nice. Yeah, bright. <laughs> All the brights. Thanks, Janetta. <laughs> Are you ready to do some expressive artwork too? We are going through different kinds of styles as we explore style in watercolor bold from A to Z. E is for expressive. To learn more from other artists who are displaying all these wonderful styles, continue watching this series here on YouTube.